Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future. I'm Eric D'Amato, and... Uh, I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. We're hiding back here. Achoo! L Kid. Classy. What's this do? Cool. Hey! Hey! What was that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Hey, just like in Arthur and the Seven Hoods. Robin and the Seven. Robin and the Seven Hoods, rather. <laughs> so we chloroform Ugh. matches. Trying my patience, Audie. Hmm. So we got a bottle. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Ooh. Still can't get Trixie's nose. Nah, I'd have to stand up to reach him, and the others would see me for sure. Hmm. So we hit the panic button again, I guess. Ice cream. Hey! hey. You hear something? Bonk him on the head? Matches! Oh, this isn't good. Got knocked out. Hmm. That's not the plan. A hundred and twenty proof. Whoa. Peace. I need. I'm dumb. I need this. I need. Uh. Got it. Put kids wall of fame. Gallery up over the bar. I don't want to waste my chloroform on that. So we chloroform the ink. Oh, uh, hey, guys. And then he actually chloroforms uh, himself. Yes. Say, wake up, you lazy bum. Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. <laughs> He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. <laughs> I like Lardy. One like. more on down. Two to go. <laughs> Come on, Artie. Wake up. You're sleeping your life away. Literally. Ow. Nice. What the? I think we blew a fuse. <laughs> Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Happy days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Yes. Good point. Wake up, sleepy. L kid. Quick. And then we get... Then we get to finally clunk him on the head with a bottle. Bam! Right in the kiss. <laughs> and we saved our dad and ourselves and our friend. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> hey, you... Wait, do I know you? Yes, you do. Not for about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's been 
happening? Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? Yeah. <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. And I think and we successfully saved Artie McFly. Awesome. What's our next mission? Oh, we're perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Awesome. Need a lift? I thought you'd never ask. Ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Very long story. Oh, son of a... Doc, just watch the last episode. Then I episode. carried Artie to the DeLorean. He came back to get you. That's me. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. <laughs> He's coming around. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. I guess. No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Yes. Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? That was a close call. You think it'll be okay? You're not fainting out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. Cool. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Oh, this looks weird. Who lives here? Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's the McFly See, place. See, McFly residence. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh, oh! <laughs> you go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. Yay! Doc, Is stay in the road. All right. So let's see what's gone horribly wrong while we were fiddling around in the past. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please. Not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. Another day? Dad, what are you talking about? Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about oh, this. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. You just saw me last night, Dad. Don't you remember? Doc's estate sale, the DeLorean. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Mom, it's Marty, Mom. Open up. It sounds like Marty, but it must be a trick. Mom! Go away. Shame on you. How can I convince you? Tell me something only Marty would know. Ah. Uh, I got my scar. I mentioned that. I've got a scar on my left knee. From what? Skateboarding down the courthouse steps when I was 12. 
That's right. Oh, my lord. What are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. Marty! <gasps> Oh no. my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp! My dog. Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Oh, shit. Uh, reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. <laughs> Biff, what happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid, my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Uh, dodge. Ooh. I got a question. Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? No. You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Which one? Uh. Dodge this way. Ooh. Biff! So now the Tannins are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. Yeah, so they're major league mafia. The Tannin gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. Awesome. No way. You don't believe me? Beth, oh no. my god, tiny golden gun. Bang! <laughs> oh, it's a lighter. Check it nice. out. Nice. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, dodge to this side. Ooh. Kind of trying to trick them into and hitting the bugs out of it. <laughs> when did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? No. We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. Uh, jump. Oof. Hey. And another thing. What are you after? What are you guys doing here anyway? It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we can take it out of your hide. Oh, that was a good job. And another thing. One more thing. Call the tourists. Look, can't we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Dodge. Okay, but where did these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. Oh, they're inbred. It's called the birds and the birds. That makes perfect butthead. sense. Oh, another milk crate. Tell me. Hey. How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut up, it's not funny. Yes it is, it was hilarious. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Jump. Ah. Oh! Here's what I still don't understand. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do! We pick on lots of guys! It's kind of our thing. Dodge this way. Wait! Awesome. One more question. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. And dodge. Ah! 
There we go, electrified bit. Electri three electrified candles. Beth, Cliff, and Griff. Piece of cake. Done. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Oh my god. Kid? No one in Hill Valley matches with the Tannen family. Oh shit. Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! You think? No kidding! Ooh, yay, flying time! Woo! Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tannen to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade! We've got to go back to the day Kid Tanner was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you. Not enough. Shit, I'm really sorry. Keep hand away from mouse during cutscenes. Basically, stop Kid Tannen from uh, not being arrested so he doesn't take over Hill Valley. Okay, Doc. Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming Ooh, out of the baby. speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tannen will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. Perfect. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Ooh, we're suited now. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever <laughs> since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. So, back into the speakeasy. Doop a doop a doo. Oh, huh, looks like Emmett's been busy. Wonder what young Emmett's built. Actually, let's see, let's start to Emmett. Pardon me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy, am I right? Uh... Uh, yeah. Can't you tell me the way? Down! Straight down! The last stop before the Inferno! Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Okay. Me, 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 oh me, no, me. she's actually gonna sing. No! No! Oh god, an accordion. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care! <laughs> what in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown, why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! <laughs> You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? 
Water over the bridge. I've moved on Under to bigger the, and better things. Over the bridge. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Einie and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now where's that speakeasy? I'm just talk to see what the good damn it meant. Mike, you're just in time. How have you been? How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Yay. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full time to a life of science. Science. Thanks for watching, Einstein. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. Almost as if he's been working with me for years. More <laughs> like decades. What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow fly. Ooh! Whoa! Flying car! Einstein! Oh, get him out of here! Not to worry! I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace! See? Nothing to worry about! Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. Hmm. So, uh... Talk to other doc. Flop house door. Hey doc, how's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. Hmm. How are your investigations going? Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the Expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the Expo. Doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. Oh, good. But during that famous scene when Colin Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower, and that bolt of lightning struck, well, let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. But see, <clears throat> I forgot to ask him to save Einstein. Damn it. Hey, Doc. What's the problem? Emmett's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Just like me. Mm, I've got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Got it. I can do that. Just keep your head low, Doc. I'll be back soon. I'll keep an eye out for your grandfather. I haven't made any other any um, developments on the rest of the stuff, so it's not quite important yet. I gotta distract other Emmett. Stuck the bolt. 
だってだってな。Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. What went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. Tell me about Parker. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Uh, find, find your rocket car. Why don't you go look for your car now? And leave Einy stuck on a ledge? <laughs> Never! Dogs are much more important than any silly rocket car, especially one that doesn't work at all. Take a break. Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Thanks for the offer, Mike. When one Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. Really? And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. You know anything about Trixie Trotter? The songbird of the Sierras? The nightingale of the north? The floozy of the foothills? Uh... Never heard of her. Man, I've definitely never snuck into tan and speakeasy to listen to her. Ah, uh, got it. Have you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. Hmm. That's me trick him. Well, I'll go off. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Uh. Hey, Emmett. Need a light? Turn that thing off. I've been distilling Tannin's hooch into rocket fuel all afternoon. One stray match could light me up like a Roman candle. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Okay, so what if I combine... Distraction. Don't touch those! They're very sensitive! Sorry. What if I set them on fire? Nah. Oh, come on, let me be a pyro. Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Mr. Crockett? Okay. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Hmm. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Um, uh... Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Kid Tannen arrested. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. Keep me posted. Hey, I got a hot... Oh, what is it? Uh... Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Oh, Brown. Oh, dear. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. 
Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you know safety. You what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's oh, no God. need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile notions. You mock notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. <gasps> Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? I'm gonna keep talking to Edna and then close the video off now that we saved Diney. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh. Hey, I got a hot l oh. Carl Sagan. I can't tell her that. It could get him in trouble. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Yes? Sorry, guys. Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care what people think of you. Of goals that you could name, reclaiming your good name uh. is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. Oh, if your this reputation hurts. is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. Uh, you really think so? Yeah, it's uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Uh huh. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. That's all what I said, game. Edna! What? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kinda interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic <laughs> involvement with that undisciplined techno anarchist is preposterous. Good. Oh my god, this is a tsundere. Oh lord. What's Kid Tannen been up to for the last two months? Didn't you hear? It was in all the papers. I've been uh, traveling. Well, the feds were all set to arrest Tannen on tax evasion charges. Seems oh, they'd gotten Tannen's up. books from his accountant. I heard something about that, yeah. Well, the accountant disappeared, unsurprisingly. But the feds still thought they had a case. After all, they still had the books, right? Right. Wrong. The day before the trial, the books up and vanished right out of the court's evidence locker. No. Lots of fingers were pointed, but honestly, the whole town's so corrupt that it could have been anyone. Court clerks, cops, janitors. So kids walking around free? Free, clear, and laughing it up in his new speakeasy. Pastor. The feds want to bring a case up against him, but without those books, they've got nothing. 
Couldn't Kid be brought up on other charges like, say, running a speakeasy? In a perfect world, yes. But no one in town seems to care about prohibition anymore. The feds are only interested because of the lost tax revenue. Well, it was a horrible idea. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. Uh, anything else you got? You won't, it's not gonna like Trixie. You wouldn't happen to know anything about Trixie Trotter, would you? Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. I mean, honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. Uh. Didn't you think that Sagan was innocent? I used to, but after he escaped, two more speakeasies were torched in Colfax and Georgetown. That's just a coincidence. Coincidence? Yeah. Or is our friend Carl a serial arsonist? Yeah, I'm sure he's innocent. I'm pretty sure that Carl Sagan didn't start those fires. We'll see. One of the reasons I'm camped out so close to Tannen's new speakeasy is it gives me the chance to catch the arsonist in the act. It'll make a great story for my column. I'm not convinced you're not the arsonist, actually. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Corleone. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. So, um... We screwed up the present, as we most assuredly knew we would. And, uh... We'll get back on fixing that and try to get uh, Kid Tannen put in jail in the next video. And I'll see you in the future! Hi, hope you enjoyed that video. This was played, recorded, and edited by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Ann Rogers, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Ciao!